Agong ngayon. Kung per sa dati. Sige, tell you ngayon. Yes. May morning question direct. Gilang pa yan. May ilang direct. Ating question ngayon. Kung sa'yo yung telesery ngayon, kung per dati. Yung tayo? Tawin tayo. Iba na po. International level na to. Iba yung quality of performance, iba yung quality of direction, iba yung quality of shots. So, siguro nag-level up na tayo compared to many years back. During our time, ito na yung ina-aspera ko to happen in our industry now is happening. Sana nagbong pa. Tapos direct, di ba, just sa role mo ito, ikaw yung investigador. So, kung bibigyan ka ng pagkakataong gumanti sa taong gumawa ng kasalanan tayo, gagati ka ba o hindi? Bakit? Kasalanan sa akin? Yeah. Siguro, ang mahirap yung term na ganti kasi pag ganti, very negative yun. I'll find justice. That's the simple term. Kung binali ako nun, I'll find ways to help in justice. Kamusta naman dari ka pagtrabaho kay Jericho at saka kay Jericho Rosales? Si Jericho worked with him sa mayroon yung sabi ginawa sa Malaysia and then sa Greenhouse so kung po tawag kami to work together saka ano to, tingin ko lang to alam mo bang si Jericho when he started ako yung judge sa kabilang channel Mr. Kogi yata yun and he was one of the contestants or the finalists and siya ang mismo ang napili ko kasi siya yung pinakamitaan All the way back. Pero siya yung pinaka-excel. Teresa, kamusta na yung yung dalawa sa set? Si Jericho at si Jenny? Alam mo, maswerte ako kasi wala ka-excel sa kanila. So, hindi ko nakita. So, hindi ko nakita. Talaga na lang. Hindi ko nakita. Okay, thank you. Hi po, Sir Albert. Hi, Jenny. Ang tanong ko po is, suki ka po ng dreamscape sa loob ng dalawang dekado na yata. Eh, ito po yung uh, pagbabalik niya sa Dreamscape Entertainment, uh, I believe, after five years. So, ang tanong ko po, what made you say yes to Lavender Fields? Well, uh, it's a combination of so many things. Ito yung great ingredient for a good project. You have an amazing cast. You have a good director. You have a good director. You have that mix, and then you have it. So, that will go to a new project. And, ano nga po, ang dami nyo pong nagawang roles dito po sa ABS-CBN, specifically also to Dreamscape. Ano po yung pagkakaiba ng role nyo kay Zanko sa previous roles na nagawa nyo na po? Actually, itong role na po, first time ito ba? Well, number one is, Uh, this is one of the projects that I met to get the challenge for because the requirement, the physical requirement is that uh, I had to gain weight. Uh, was, uh, if you notice, I was de-glamorized. I had a diet, I hair tone, I had a hair tone, I had a hair tone, I had a hair tone, I had Always drunk. So, in order for me to make my character, I have to start binging, and so I can gain weight, and then the end result, the result of binging affects my sleeping pattern. So, I don't sleep well. But I'm less than I'm. I'm not really, really tired. I'm not tired, which is less intention of my sleeping pattern. So it's. Very challenging for me since it's opposite of my real life. Uh, I only eat once a day. I work out as often as possible. Uh, I watch what I eat, and I don't binge on anything. So it was really challenging. Hey, sir. Uh, sir, na katabal ni si Miss Marisa in your early days in Shanghai. Yeah. Uh, how does it feel working on your head? Actually, ganatapos ang namin with Maricel with ano yun, like Jero's daughter. So, ito na yung second namin as we are now. Well, of course, during the 80s, we're having a lot of work together. 
what is your story on this post in process? I mean, it's icon, as far as performance concerned, can be a lot of this. It's, it's been working with her, uh, working with that caliber, feeling more in the set caliber, makes it, makes it feel real. Well, I'm asking you, sorry, everything you react, you, 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 you listen, it's, it's real. Um, is there a is there a trait of your character that you can really do? Uh, Skysandro, the only thing I see similar to me would be being in focus of what I do. Skysandro, you know, similar to that, you know, yet to get any of them. He would describe him in the beginning, and um. Without giving too much, and about. Why did you describe your character? Uh, well, Sandro is, well, to start, he is a dedicated uh, investigator. He is the top of the agency. <coughs> his his, his uh, batting, bat, batting average, uh, it's only a case, is almost 100%. Almost 100%. Uh, uh, unfortunately, he, he had a mishap. He had, he had a disaster in his life. Uh, Kind of turned it into something that I'm going to do. I'm going to do a little bit of research. I'm going to do a little bit of research. And as I mentioned earlier, this type of character is not going to be able to do Um, question po. Uh, so, in relation to his question po about uh, Mar Maricel Soriano, um, be, sa social media, uh, merong fans yung Marbert. Lag like, pinupush yeah, nila. <laughs> yes. Tapos parang uh, nagdedeman sila ng uh, parang kilig scenes with Miss Maricel. So may aabangan ba yung mga fans? Marbert fans? Uh, sa Lavender Field. As of this moment, mm -hmm. I can only say secret. Secret. Okay. <laughs> so mukhang meron naman. <laughs> okay. And next question po is... Uh, um, part din ng cast ng Lavender Fields yung mga yung Gen Z uh, cast sina Jana Goncilio sina Miguel Vergara um, how's it working with them and nagbibigay ba kayo ng pieces of advice sa kanila kung paano maging successful su su uh, successful sa industry yeah. <laughs> voluntary no if they ask we'll be more than happy to give them the prices so far kasi yung mga scenes ko with them is not as much mm. I'm more exposed with them but it's a movie But then again, if they want advice, I'd be more than happy. Okay. Pero kung may meron kayong ibibigay advice ngayon sa kanila, ano kaya yung pwede yung magbigay ng advice para maging um, successful sila sa industry? Sa akin, the best target is professionalism. Professionalism. Kasi professionalism, ang dami ni Samuel. Isang professional, you do your job well. Uh, you expect the set. Uh, you read your script, it's very important. Uh, and then, in focus more is what you do, and you, you give your best performance. So that's when you get professional. Thank you. Good afternoon, uh, lately, po kasi yung mga projects na in action is more in action scenes. Uh, Person with Jay School. Uh, it's just that it's more a season at all. Or Batch of it. Action is more successful than traditional drama. So, you know, it's not a bad way. But, you know, it's not a bad way. You bear an element of action. And, blessing her at my age, na nasalim din ang sad yung action. So, so para kung you can be taken, you know, it's not a so is that your dream role po? Parang nag-ibas ang first time kung gaganap na investigator. So is that your dream role? Well, part of my, part of my dream role is actually itong ganyan itong classic role na investigator na rogue. First time kung gaganap. So it's, it's part of my list. Unfortunately, that, uh, may have well the reasons I accepted it. Kung magkakain po sa lungat dun sa ginagawa niyo, that's why you accepted 
parang ganun po. Pero bilang isang icon na sir, so uh, may pressure pa rin ba on your part? Since this is your first, parang first time na role mo. May pressure pa on your part na kailangan, since ganito na itingin sa isang Albert Martinez, meron pa rin po ba? Well, kasi mahirap yung mga like it. Uh, the, the pressure is, I don't call it pressure, I call it challenge. So it's all internal. I really, it doesn't bother me anymore what other people would say. Uh, kasi pag gano'n yun, pag gano'n ang mindset mo, ang tendency mo is to please them all the time. <coughs> Nangyayari, yung sarili mo, hindi mo nang please. So ako, it's more than, more than, more than pressure, challenge sa akin. Ako. I, I challenge myself. Uh, and, and, the best critic or the worst critic is me. Uh, whatever, whatever I do, I do my own critic. But uh, uh, either I've done too much or I've done not enough. And if it's perfect or not, I'm the one who critics. But uh, I'm not affected by outside, uh, outside uh, pressure. Ano po yung reaction niyo din sa yun yung napulot ko ni Ms. Jody na pati na pinangalang ko din sa karakter Oo, oh, kasi kami dalawa na sa Excel mo, hindi ako papi pinulot niya. Sabi niya, kaya yun, pangalan ito. Sandro? Oo, oh, Joe Cage. Oo oh, nga, Sandro! Kasi kakasama ko. Yeah, so, that's how it started. Didel Sandro. I check on him every so often. Kaya kita ko siya, oh, smooth na Sandro. Yun, ah, uh, wait, dila ko sa bed, no, okay naman, kaya lang, ano mo rin mo lahat eh. Ah, yung uh, here for so long na po sa showbiz, ah, uh, may mga, ah, uh, dream roles pa po ba kayo na gusto mo gawin? Siguro, when presented mo lang, yung dream role kasi at may age pa kang nagawa ko na harap sa lahat. Medyo, ang pare, uh, Sermon, Atheist, <laughs> Dancer, Gay, ano ba ba? Lahat niya ito, nagawa ko na. Ah, naging sarena na rin ako. So, <laughs> <laughs> naging halimaw na rin ako. So, ano ko rin ako. Uh, next question po. Sa tingin niyo po, uh, ano po yung symbolism ng lavender sa lavender fields? Bakit sa dinami dami ng uh, bulak na kahit lavender? Um... Actually, there's also a question I had when it was presented to us. Anong connection ng lavender fields kay lavender, the, the lavender fields? Uh, <coughs> Nag-ibis siya ata itong Arbos, so it's the way back. Uh, he was in a fight, I don't know, in Japan, and he was a lavender plantation. It was so beautiful, and he got inspired. From there, they were able to create na ang na ang anchor is na so nothing to feel was created. But if you watch the series from start to finish, then you will know the reason, the reason why Titan Man is not Thank you, Sir Albert. Next question. <laughs> Take a, I think, a traditional selfie with. Yeah, I think that's it. Now. Uh, <laughs>